Hi everyone and welcome. Today we're looking into the Aldebaran Choreograph Face Recognition Tutorial. So on this week's tutorial we're looking to see how to program your robot to recognise faces. So if you want your robot to recognise everyone in your family then please stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm Philip English from Robofield.com. Now on this video we're looking to teach you how to use the face recognition tool on your now robot. We will do this first by exploring the learned face behaviour, then followed by the face recognition behaviour. Right, hi guys and uh, welcome to my face recognition tutorial. Um, so you can obviously get the now robot to learn a person's face. Um, a great example of this is um, if you may be at a school, um, you can actually, um, maybe it's a parent's day or, or something like that, then you can actually go and get pictures of the kid's parents or ask, ask, the, pictures to get, um, ask the kid to get uh, pictures of the parents, bring the picture in, um, get the robot to recognise the faces and then obviously maybe on a, on a school day where the parents are coming in, you could pop the robot at the front of the school and of course the robot will recognise the, each of the parents coming in and then say their name. So a handy little trick. So what we need to do, let's first, as I normally do, uh, let's connect, make sure it is connected. There we go, so wave the robot arm. I'm a little bit of distance away from the robot today, so let's get a little walk over there. So first thing we need to do is uh, we need to get the robot to learn the face. So if we go into search, and if we go to learn face, type in learn face into the search box and drag in the learn face behavior. Now, as you can see, this little fella has a blue input and this means that it needs a string information. So you've got to input information in here. Again, just to go run through different colors, a black input means um, a bang type, so only a simulation. Yellow inputs are for numbers and grey inputs are for dy dynamic data. So how we're going to do this is we'll have a look at the video screen. So there's now the video screen. So I'll just put a white um, sheet of paper in front of it just so it's easy to see the face. And we simply, uh, we have to run the behaviour to start with. So we hit play, just so the behaviour is actually running. And then we will hit the, um, the input here. Double click the input and it's asked for a string name. So what I've done is I've taken a couple of pictures from the internet and we're just going to put these in here now. So let's take the first one called Bob because that's a man. And what we do is if I hit OK, so what I'll do is I'll place the photo in front of the robot, I hit OK and then you have to wait for now's eyes to become blue then green again and that means that he's seen the picture. So I'll hit OK. So he's looking for a picture now. I'm going to place this in front of the robot. Give it a few seconds. And you can see it's actually seen the face on the 3D view as well. So wait for it to go to blue and green. So I'm happy with that one. So we'll put that back and now we'll put another face in front of him. So again, do we have to do the same thing. Go into the input. We're going to type this one and put Kate. Hit OK, and then we are going to put Kate in front of the robot. There we go, again we can see in the 3D he's seen the face, and give him a few seconds. We're looking for the lights, the eyes to go blue and then green again, so he has recognised the face. And uh, we'll take that away, brilliant. So we'll put that back there. Right, so we've seen the robot has learned both the faces. Um, so what we do now is we now have to start a new session. So it's learned the faces, but it, we've got to start a new session to refresh the robot's mind. So we're just going to go file, new project, and just discard the old one. Right, brilliant. Now we want him to recognize the face. So we want to go to facial recognition. So this one here on the left hand side, drag that in. Uh, stop any, anything that's running because it may still, be learn, uh, may still be running the learned face. And then basically what we want it to do is when, we, when it sees the face, we want it to actually say the, the, the name of the person. So as we've done in past, uh, past tutorials, we drag in the say box. 
I'm gonna drag in a couple of say boxes because we've got two different names. And then in one of my old tutorials, I told you how to do the, the switch case, which means it will um, recognize wherever the robot uh, is coming from. So we'll pop that in the middle and we will connect those. So that one's there and that noodle there. In here, we're gonna put the string. So the first one was Bob. And then we're gonna have to put Kate in there. And there we go. And if we connect this all up with the noodles, as so. So when the robot recognizes Kate, it will tell the signal, come down to the switch case. This will pick, um, this will recognize if it said Kate or Bob. And then it will go to the say box. So what we want is in the say box is hello, Bob and hello Kate, and duh, 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 like so. So we should be good to go. So let's hit the play. Okay, right, oh. So now if I walk over here, and let's place the faces in front of the robot and see how well we do. So here's Bob. Hello Bob. Brilliant. Hello Bob. And again. Hello, Bob. Okay, and let's see if he sees Kate. Hello, Kate. More happier when he sees Kate. Hello, Kate. Brilliant. And one last time. Hello, Kate. Brilliant. Thank you now, doing a good job. Uh, and that's it, guys. Thanks very much. Well done, guys. You are now a face recognition expert. I can program in any face for you now to recognize. Now have a play this behavior and try out other faces or images to test how well your robot can see them. Have a play guys and use your imagination. If you like this and want even more free video tutorials, news and information, then please visit us at robofield.com where you can download the latest free eBooks and get insider information and techniques of how to become a robot expert. Now if you like this tutorial or want to see the next one in the collection then please hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest videos that come out. Please have a look below as well where I've put links relating to these videos as well as other information about the NOW robot. If you have any questions or want to see any other related tutorials then please write me a message in the comments section and I'll see what I can do. Thanks guys, looking forward to see you next time.